Hello everyone, my name is Tim with Discovering Tim, and today we're going to be working on a cornhole set for our Backyard Games series. And it's actually pretty easy. A lot of the wood can be cut at Lowe's or Home Depot where you purchase it. But there are a few things we want to go over. Uh, it's going to be a quick time lapse actually. Uh, the construction of a set. But uh, I will be including a little diagram I found online that's kind of what I went by. But uh, I've built them before with the help of my grandparent, or my grandpa. Uh, unfortunately, he's not around anymore, and I'm left to my own devices, so I don't have the tools that he had in his little shop in his garage. But I do have a set of hand power tools that most people have access to and can use pretty easily. So we're gonna go ahead and go over the tools that I used and you'll need for this actual uh, backyard tool or backyard game set and we'll go from there. All right, here we are with the tools. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of having to freehand this, but what we have here is we've got a hole set. Um, it's designed for cutting holes in up to, uh, I think it is one and a half inches. A battery powered circular handsaw, drill, eye and ear protection of course, um, an adjustable right angle, a, uh, excuse me, a uh, tape measure, drill bit set for the drill, set of C-clamps, marking tools, just pencils, and carpenter's pencils. Uh, this is a, a punch, so you use that for um, starting a little bit of a, di a divot in the wood so you can put the screws in. Six inch carriage bolts, those are uh, stainless steel. These are Let's see, they are uh, one and a half inch washers with half inch holes. Uh, those will be on the outside of the bolts to help hold it together. The receipt, which doesn't do you any good. Wing nuts, because you want to be able to loosen and tighten the uh, legs. Wood glue to help with putting the, the tops onto the wood. And of course, got a set of screws here. Got some uh, one and a half inch. And then I got two and a half and three inch over there. And of course the most important part, water. Especially when you live here in Arizona, even in the middle of what is fall, and even the start of winter for people. We're kind of looking at uh, Thanksgiving, a couple days away, and we're looking at 90 degree weather for Thanksgiving, so it's kind of crazy. But these are the tools you'll be using um, in order to put everything together. First thing that we gotta do though, is we gotta put a hole in this board for um, the bean bags when they go through. And also we need to put some holes into the sides of these uh, pieces here. They are two by four, inch by eight, uh, four feet. They used to be eight foot, we cut them in half. And we use that um, for the sides of the panels right there. And in there, roughly about where that knot is actually, so about two inches in, and these aren't actually four inches wide. So it's two inches down and roughly, well, we'll probably go a little more than that because if we want to put a siding on here, I was thinking that, but I've been thinking about leaving this back side open so it's easier to grab the uh, bean bags from underneath, but also so that we can easily fold the legs in without having a backing to worry about. Uh, structurally, it might mess it up, but aside from that, it'll work. But, you know, those are some of the uh, pieces of wood you'll need. Um, you'll need a table of some sort. I built this bench real quick to work on. And of course, it's getting dark, as you can see. They're beautiful Arizona sunsets. But, uh, yeah, so, I had to get some extra lighting in here. And of course, another camera since uh, this can't record for half an hour straight. But we're going to go ahead and mark everything up. And again, I'll leave the schematics on in the description for you guys so you can check it out.
Hello everyone, Tim here. Coming to you from the desk here, uh, where I edit everything. It seems, unfortunately, the uh, closing video I had, my outro for this project, didn't happen. So, well, it happened, it didn't record. And I'm hoping it's recording now. We'll find out in here when I uh, play it back. But, what went on is, I ran out of wood. I was only able to complete one of the cornhole uh, targets, I guess is one way to put it. Unfortunately, I ran because I ran out of wood, I couldn't finish. And due to other circumstances, I wasn't able to finish it within an hour and a half, just between batteries not staying charged because I haven't used them in a while, to just anything and everything I have it's it's a uh, life even though I'm unemployed at the moment life always has something for you to do whether it's someone calling you for help or school and in most cases right now it's my schooling um, which this video itself is actually for and unfortunately I wasn't able to finish it properly but I will list all of the things that were used, like I had said before. So all the hardware that I used, all of the wood that I used, how much wood I used, how much wood I should have used, uh, which basically I just needed another 2x4, uh, 8 foot long 2x4. Had I had that, I could have finished. Uh, additionally, just a few things to note. Uh, I do like buying stuff at Harbor Freight, however, there, I had some issues with one of the 600 C clamps that I had bought, and uh, there the quick release mechanism inside apparently is plastic because it broke while I was using it. So now it won't tighten down. Basically it stripped it, which is kind of dumb. Uh, so I'm probably going to be taking those back. Uh, this, the, ho the whole saw thing, it worked pretty well. I mean it's... You know, it's not Craftsman or DeWalt or Mac Tools or any of that kind of stuff, but it gets the job done. It was only 20 bucks for the set, so uh, let's see what else. Just trying to think. I don't know. I mean, that's about it. Had everything worked out properly and had this actually recorded the way it was supposed to, then uh, it might have worked out for me. But anyways, you live and learn. I mean, that's part of life. It's part of the whole point of this being Discovering Tim is I'm um, learning uh, new things and relearning old things, remembering things that I've been taught. So hopefully you are enjoying, well, enjoying the journey as it is. I'm trying, as I'm trying to make it through life, even though comparatively to most people my age, I'm very far from being successful but I'm relatively happy so I guess that depends on you but what we'll do is uh, I'll let you go I'll see you in the next video until then